Hey. What? Uh, I'm in chat now. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have a goddamn. You can hear this right now, right? Look at this kitty. I know. I know your quest is because you sleep too much, and then when you get awake, you're just like, I need to have all the rubs and pets right now, but I need to do my job. But you're just like, say something into the mic. Say it. Say something. You're so talkative. God, this cat, I swear to fucking God. Whew, boy. Oh, that's Miru, she's my cat. Or our new, newish cat. Um, I'm Matthew Roy. Uh, I've started the stream. Let me know if the audio sounds okay to you. Uh, this mic is going to be a little bit further away than it probably should be. Hey. Here on WKRP. Okay, I'm gonna adjust some levels. I think this input, this uh, game is really good. Really it feels like I'm trying to down a little bit. Yeah, down a little bit too. How about that? How about this? How about this talking? How about this kind of talking over here? How about? How about this kind of talking over here? Um, how about this kind of talking? I'm gonna do my little southern drawl over here. This is really actually my um, system configuration audio. Turn this music down a little bit. How about that? How about that? Uh, for the last little hour here of today, we are gonna play a little, a little Final Fantasy XIV. Let me figure out who wants to do the dungeon that I need to do to move on to what I need to do. Doma Castle. Yo, yeah, this is the world famous Chocobo theme song. I have set up a flying mount roulette, and not all of them have Chocobo theme song, which is nice. Uh, we're going to wind up today with a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy XIV and maybe a little magic after that. I feel like playing some more magic and getting my... I'm sure I can help. Go back to party. Go back to party. Invite to party. And I'll just show this over to party. We're gonna do a dungeon here real quick. I have been playing in this zone called Doma Castle. Doma, I, I Doma for a while. I have a, I have a dungeon I need to do, and we're gonna do it. And let's get Doma'd up. Uh, this is a story, uh, story dungeon. Uh, you have been fighting to take back this little land that I got from the people who have taken it over or from your friends. And I have not done this dungeon yet. It sounds like a pretty big story one, so we're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Gonna do it. Uh, if we're all ready to go and everybody hears me okay, let's go ahead and just get queued up for this one. Doma cast. Doma. And we're gonna do it. Uh, I am in the giantbomb.com slash chat. Uh, feel free to send me a question or a... Oh. Reply. It's been a long day. Get up early. Um, do you guys have an Animal Crossing thing coming out with the reviews being out? I can't really speak to Animal Crossing. If 
you're not familiar with Final Fantasy 14, this is an MMO. Uh, you know what seems to be a little loud compared to the game, but let me know if Gameplay is very loud here. little bit onto the thing. Okay. Let's try this out. Let me know if that's better. I might go back to OBS as well and turn... Oh, actually, you know what I should do? Probably go ahead and start recording as well. Hello, everybody. If you're just tuning into this as well, this is uh, Matthew Murray. I'm playing some Final Fantasy XIV. We just started a dungeon here. We're streaming. We're recording. We're doing everything great. I'm invading Doma Castle, and these are a lot of enemies that I probably should have been more prepared for, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm a tank, that's my job. We're just going to go ahead and run it. Uh, please let me know if. Is that I turned the volume the other way? I did. Probably. Let's try this. Keep uh, using the. Uh, sorry about that. Let me know in chat if the audio levels are okay. I probably should have done that before I hit record, but I did keep on turning it up and back down again. Um, turn on. Okay. Yum yum. I hear. I see a yum yum. That's cool. We're gonna record this dungeon here real quick, and I might do some magic. We'll call it a day here, Jam Bomb. It's a glorious day here, Jam Bomb. We're gonna be taking up from these guys. We're gonna be third down the street. Professional. Don't fight us, monster. All day here. Oh gosh, am I losing aggro? I macro anything I want to. The macros from here go to fight or flight and rampart, which you basically should uh, keep up at all times. Yeah, macros. I I, I don't. I get the idea that they are not the most efficient way of doing it, but. Everybody keeps on saying the game is broken, the macros don't work right. They seem to work okay for me. You hit the button more if you, um. It doesn't go off right. Let's hit it again. Maybe I sound really ignorant. I probably do. But as far as I can tell, they work fine. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I've never been to this dungeon before. Uh, I've never fought any bosses, so we're gonna just play it by ear and hope it's okay. Olivia Garden says I'm doing great. I'm, I feel like I'm... Alright, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I've been playing tank in MMOs for about... years plus now? 16 years plus? I feel like I got a pretty good uh, handle. People keep on saying don't macro weapon skills. When I hit this button, it goes off for fight or flight. It's, it's perfectly, perfectly fine as far as I can tell. Somebody wants to send me a very long explanation of why I shouldn't do it. I get there's like, oh, the computer server timer is it's not working right. It doesn't, you gotta hit it twice, but I, I hit it twice and it all works fine. I'm using a mouse and keyboard so I can hit the button as much as I want. Now that actually is starting to hurt. Skills are basic melee attacks, but by putting them in a you can reload the next one. I, why would I need to reload it? I, I, I'm honestly curious about all this stuff because when I want to do the macro for the, or the, uh, the next weapon skill in the chain, I just hit that button again. I mean, I hit one, I see the next one is queued up, I hit that one, and I see four is up, I hit four, oh, yeah. and I'm also getting off my uh, timer. 
rampart in the middle there for I have a two second global cooldown. I have never seen any problems with this system at all. I'm very curious about people. I think it's an issue. I am I'm totally open to explanations as to why I'm doing this wrong, but Some ads coming in here. Oh, those are just bad Okay. Now we're actually be looking at chat and doing this at the same time. Um, if it's 0.5 seconds on the global cooldown, then it shouldn't matter. These things are getting right after. There's a two-second global cooldown. Again, I'm just not... We even can hear you. Is that what he doing said? I'm not sure what that means. If there's audio problems still, I'm trying to... Uh, trying to be reasonable about all this. Uh, but if you can't hear me, I'll try to talk up a little bit. How about that? What's the matter here? Is there supposed to be something? Oh, okay. Yeah, the text was fine for me on this uh, on this monitor. It might be a little compressed because I'm not sending out the full 100% resolution uh, on the stream. It's a little bit smaller than what I'm seeing here, but yeah, all the text is quickly understandable. I'm going to turn the mic up. How about that? There we go. That doesn't work. Rule around with it a little bit more. I am pretty distant from the mic, just the way my desk is set up. Sorry about that. I hopefully I'm turning the mic up the right way. Because I'm looking at it, it's facing me, and there's. It's not really clear on these Yetis, like which way it's supposed to go up and down. It just like has a knob on it. So hopefully it's better. Something is equalizing it whenever I turn it up. I, I don't even know what to tell you about that. I'm not, I don't think I have any equalizing settings. I just turn the knob to, a, to, to the right. Hope it's better. Sorry for all the continuing audio issues, but I don't really have a good grasp on any of this stuff. I'm a 40 year old man. I should not even know what to do. That should be in a nursing home right now. I'm still not getting this macro explanation. Um, it, it all feels fine to me. And maybe I'm just being bullheaded. Uh, I'm trying not to be. I'm trying to be open to the discussion, but uh, it, it feels like it all works very well for me. Maybe at the end, when I'm doing extra hard raids or something, it, uh, it will be more of a matter of like that. For the moment, I just have uh, Fight or Flight and Rampart set up to go off whenever I hit one of my main skills in the future. Because otherwise, I would totally forget about them and they never. You know, maybe I'm being super lazy about it, but I'd rather be lazy and have fun. That's my motto. Also, I'm um, moving my head left and right uh, away from the mic, so I apologize if it sounds like I dip in and out. That's one of the problems that I go. Oh, I have the mic set up to my left, uh, right hand side, and so. Oh, um, and this monitor is very, very big, and I'm going to chat over on the left hand side, and then it's close enough to hear. Uh, there's two chats now there's game chat, and then. Game chat and then chat.com slash chat. Everybody should do that now. The UI feels fine. It's just more like I'm looking at the giant bomb chat off on my second monitor, which is like a good 30 degree angle from what I'm actually looking at on my screen. So it's kind of a stretch. Monitor. Boy, 
boy, this is a really... We're storming the castle here. Feels like Oklahoma back in, uh, in the wow. Back in the day. Okay, here we go. What is up next here? I see a back in the day. Yeah, I'll look into the map. Kind of sounds really good. Really it just feels like it's sort of makes it a lot easier for me to play. Um, and I'm not really hyped. Oh, just not too much. It'll probably sound like most people who doesn't believe in vaccines right now or something like that. People who actually know what they're talking about. I haven't played a lot of Final Fantasy lately. Um, it's been a while since I've really been playing a lot of this game. I have my sub up. I thought that would keep playing. I know, man, I guess that expansion came out like E3 last year. That was a while ago. I really thought I'd be closer to the end of the game by now, but there's been so many games coming out in the last year, so I've spent a lot of time on that. I really enjoy my time in this game, but it's kind of one of those things where I hit up. I'll hit a dungeon that's in the middle of the main story quest, and I kind of don't want to have to you know, sit around and wait for the queue to pop. Or I want to save it for a stream or something like that, and put it down for a week or two. I've been playing so much magic with me. This is really tough to find. Or at least magic kind of took over my daily waste half an hour on. Game audio down a little more. If you want it. Or I can talk more louder because I, I do go up and down in volume of my voice. A pair of Yanksian. I'm not getting any gear here. Oh well. Wait, dexterity? I don't need dexterity. Oh wait, I see the questions button. I don't know about the audio stuff. I can I can move it closer. I can try. I can try. I, can try. I don't know how old the audio stuff is. Okay. I'll try to get a mount for this mic before I do this. Oh boy. Hi everybody. How you doing? Um, Pillar of Eternity, I have not played the new ladder yet. I should probably check it. It's been a while since I've played, put a lot of time in the PLU. I really do enjoy the game quite a bit. Um, but what my pre preference is let the Giant Bomb Guild play for the first weekend or two, and then I go in and get all the unique items that they put into the guild coffer, so I don't have as hard of a time starting out. And it really works really well for me. It probably doesn't work so well. 3D. If you're not part of the Giant Bomb Path of Exile Shield, uh, I, I don't know if there's slots on I'm not sure if it's full or not, but uh, they're a very friendly group and are really happy to help out with uh, unique weapons, items, everything like that. Uh, it's fun. Okay, we got, I think, one more boss here at the end. I'm assuming it's the bad lady, evil lady queen person. They might totally forget, but we're gonna find out pretty soon. This is pretty soon. A quick dungeon to uh, end the day, and then I'm gonna try and play some magic real quick a little bit and get my quest done. At the end. It'll be a good time. Any good new bands I've heard lately? I tweeted about um, Oregon Angel the other day. I really need to write my blog about the stuff I read and listen to. It is in progress. The Origami Angel, their new album is called Somewhere City, and I really hope I get to see them live sometime. They, everything feels very up in the air about live music and entertainment. That uh, I really missed them by eight day when they came to town. They were up in Berkeley on a Sunday night, and I found out the day after. I was really pissed. Off. Uh, 
But yes, I will write that. I have been saying that for about three months. Okay, story time. I don't think this is actually the, uh... Oh, it's the, her lieutenant that she did something to. This guy's been a joke the entire expansion, and now she did some, uh... Modifications to him. Okay, yes, we all let's all nod at each other, and then you guys run away for the rest of the fight. Macroing fight or flight before your combo skill means you delay using the skill even more than you can delay in macro spring. Uh, it, the macro order is so that it casts after the macro the weapons. I believe. Let me take a look at my macros and this. But yes, I believe the weapon skill goes up first, and then during the two second global cooldown, the fight or flight goes up. Is the intended way of doing it. I don't know what I'm doing with this fight. Uh, let me know in chat. I'm so I can do that really well. Uh, there are two platforms that I can put in there. Go about. That's okay. Die! 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 Sounds like a lot of things. So this guy has been uh, kind of. Uh, a joke to you the entire expansion. He's been coming back and forth trying to fight you. Uh, he has never even once come close. You fought him multiple times, and he's always been kind of a pathetic little turd of an enemy. And uh, eventually, he's over. Die, die. Amped him up with some, um, I assume, technical upgrades. He had a hammer before, and now he's a chain. We go together! I really hope it's not the only phase of this fight. But soon there's more. Oh, I could be wrong. Was that the end? That felt like a really easy boss for being the end of this thing. I know we're a little bit over leveled, probably. I'm definitely, I'm assuming other people on this uh, group are over leveled a bit. Um, but that's a weird. It felt really easy. Let's see what we got here. Can I have a new I No! Not for me. There we go. Yanks can hearing of fending. Oh, I got it all. Everybody left. Well, I'm assuming there's a. Over to the left. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone now. Let's go see if there's another, um, I'm assuming there's another cutscene here in a second. We'll more play some magic and wind down the day. With a little relaxing magic playing. If anybody wants to join me in magic, feel free to uh, queue up, lo load it up. Have you ought to say for yourself? I'm going to stop talking for this duration of this cutscene. Your people. <laughs> My people, he says. The precious lordling beloved by all come to confront the wicked witch. My parents taught me no better. They woke me from dawn to dusk like an ox or an ass or some other piece of burden. Until, that is, my brothers find a chance to transform the family fortunes. And so I was married to the vicious old drunk, who beat me as he pleased. And when I pleaded for help, I was told to grin and bear it. For the family, for him, for everyone's sake. They pretended not to notice, but they knew. They knew. What did it matter? 
I was nothing to them. Less than nothing. I wasn't of their flesh. I wasn't a fellow Domon. I wasn't even a person. I might just as well have been dead. And then my husband passed away one day. And so I was sold off yet again to pay his debts. But this time, this time, I found a way to live for myself. To survive as a spy for the Empire. Oh, those were the days when the scales first fell from my eyes. No longer would I be a slave to my parents or my husband or the pleasure house. I would be free and receive due compensation. That would be enough, I thought. Until I saw a doorman in the room. This probably makes no sense to anybody who Even hasn't played this game. Uh, it barely my makes heart. sense to me. My heart skipped a beat. Because I haven't played very much lately. I remember all these characters, my but their motivations are, are very... Uh... Groaning in agony. Sobbing in despair. Powerless. Helpless, hopeless, a vision forever seared into my soul. Oh. There was nothing I would not do to feel that joy again. To bend this cruel, twisted world to my whims. <sighs> Having borne witness to my life's work, have you aught to say to me? You're fucked, lady. Fucked right in the head. <laughs> Twas kind of you to lend me your ear, my lord. But now it is time for us to conclude our little tete a tete with a final game of chance. Who shall stand, and who shall fall? Let the die be cast. This was her plan from the first, to bring the keep down on our heads. That makes total sense. I will remember your words. We must flee. Order our forces to withdraw. That was all kind of pointless. Well, I guess we could kill her, but I, from what I'm hearing from the chat, she might come back. Nobody ever dies in Final Fantasy. you get no no one leaves not 
You or anyone else? Evil Kate Blanche. Oh. Tis not this old friend cannot bear. Go now, all of you. The day is won, and the morrow beckons. Do not despair, my friend. Never before have I felt so alive. My eyes unclouded, my purpose clear. This is right. Go, Setsu. You never failed us. Not once. You served my father faithfully. And I'm a better man for your guidance. And the Doma we built together shall be better for it too. Be proud, my friend. Be proud. They are taking their sweet fucking time getting out of here. I am, Shun. More than you know. That stinks. I like Gosetsu. It was a fun character. We gotta kill somebody, though. How merciful the gods that I should find you in time. Gosetsu? We must turn back now before it is too late. Uh, yeah, it's too late. Sorry about that. Forward, Serena. That was his wish. I will deliver you to safety. The others are waiting. Awesome. That was, man, that was a long cutscene. That was like 10 minutes. Um, I feel bad for, I got two pieces of gear. What is this upgrade here? That's a big upgrade. Holy shit. That is a lot more defense. Um, I am going to not play this next cutscene because God only knows how long that'll be. Um, I'm going to move over to magic for a bit. Um, if anybody wants to play me in magic, I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna try to get this daily quest done. I'm gonna jump over here and see what happens. I lost a lot of health. Can I swim down here? Is there anything under here? Just kind of an empty. Yep. 
really much to see here. All right, uh, I'm gonna flip over to Magic. Uh, thank you for everybody who joined. Um, we'll talk about macros later. Actually, let's talk about it now. How about that? Because I don't think I lost enough of you already. Um, so yeah, fast play goes off first. You wait one second. You use fight or flight, and then that is fight or flight's an instant. So I mean, it should be. It's done automatically. It's done without any kind of. Um, who the hell is that? Oh, Olivia Garden. Um, it should be an instant. It shouldn't affect the global cooldown. Maybe I'm, I'm totally misunderstanding. So please tweet me about uh, this whole system because I, I, as far as I know, this should be fine. I realize there are plenty of people who know a lot more about uh, this whole thing. So uh, I'm going to flip over to magic. I'm going to actually, you know what I can do? I can go ahead and just load magic up. And could play them both at the same time just switch but i don't want to i'll just i'll just quit out of uh final fantasy for now and then we'll flip the input in obs over to magic and we can play that all day long with each other because i love to be with my brands and brothers and giant bomb and sisters too they're my special friends because i love you gonna be together forever in quarantine gonna say hi and then we are gonna sing about everything and all day all night it's a good rap pretty good rap Make sure this is all working in chat. That should have automatically updated. Let me chats. update everything. I'm going to turn off my own chat. voice because everything. that's going to sound really weird to everybody. Update this. I should have updated the... Uh, did I not update the... I did. Okay. Update. Um, Magic the Gathering Arena. Thank you to all of the people who are watching this right now. We're going to wind down this wonderful Monday. Is Arena not... Is it just Magic the Gathering? Okay, well, put it on Magic the Gathering then. Patas is... Patas, I can't go outside right now. I just... You just went outside, Mr. Buddy Boy. You just went outside. You have to stay right here right now. Um, I'm going to go and play, so I have this uh, quest here uh, for killing 25 of my opponent's creatures. I'm going to go, yeah, cool, let's do it. Let's play some people in the community. Uh, I am in giantbomb.com slash chat. Um, please feel free to join me in magic. Oh, what am I doing? Did I select edit? No, I don't want to edit. How do I get on here? What the fuck was that? I, I, okay, pending request, pending request. Hit that again, Repeater. I think it was Repeater who sent me that thing. Try it out on a training dummy. I don't... I, yes. I will try it out on a training dummy at some point. If we're just still talking about macros. I move the microphone directly in front of my face, so hopefully that'll be a little bit easier to, to work with. Um, there we go. We're going to play a little magic here for like another 20 minutes or so and call it a day. I got to get some soup tonight. There's a restaurant near us called La Pinca Azul um, that does really good albondigas, which is like a meatball soup. We're going to partake of some of that. Uh, this is not a fantastic draw, but it's okay. It's all right. It'll work for now. All I'm trying to do here, uh, I streamed a little bit of this before. I'm just trying to get 10 more creature kills. I made this deck expressly to kill creatures, and I love it. And it's really annoying to have to fight against. Um, I need a plane here pretty pretty well, though. That's the only thing. Oh, but I'll say if this is a mono-white aggro deck, that's going to be fun to play against. I like I like it. I play one of these myself. I'm going to lose that, buddy. You know what? Go ahead and go ahead and look. It's fine. Okay. I need a plane really badly. Uh, again, the whole purpose of this deck is to kill creatures. Um, not really even supposed to win. It's just um, intended to kill people. Iliad, that's a tough one. Ooh, boy. All right, well, I really need to. If I don't want to get a plane soon, might as well concede. Uh, I'm in giantpalm.com slash chat, but make sure you use a reply or a ask a question button at the top of the chat to make sure that I see your comment because everything. Okay, well. Hopefully I get a murder or a murderous writer. That's a lot of, there's a plane. 
Oh, what can I do here? There we go. And that works too. Enough. How do I add you on Arena? Um, my, um, let me give you my Arena username in a second here. Um, that's going to hurt me a lot. This Heliod is going to be bad. I don't have a way to get rid of him. So, True friends always stand by your side. Um, that's going to be fun as well. That's a lot of creatures coming down. Here comes Heliod again. This is going to go poorly for me. I feel like, unless I get a board sweep out. Uh, if I get a Shadow of the Sky or something like that, that'd be fun. Take Vengeance's tapped creature. Nothing's tapped except for him, and that wouldn't work. I'm going to go ahead and use a giant killer on this dude. Just to stay alive another turn. Um, yeah, let me find my username on here real quick. We'll try something. No attacks from now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to die pretty soon. I really wish there was a way to find my username in this interface, but there is not, as far as I can tell. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh, bop. Nah, that's fine. Doing okay, Belly? Oh, my dogs. Everybody's just anxious today. It's crazy. Okay, well, you know what? I got five. Okay. You know, I can't. I can't cast it more than kill that. Um, I got nothing left. I'm gonna go and act. I can't activate the ability. No, I can. Activate ability, yeah. Might as well. Oh, you got me. You got me. Alright, this is uh, pretty much over. He has the ability to kill me now. Hope everybody's doing out well out there and and um all right anybody else want to challenge me feel free where peter came down uh my username here is m rory let me copy that real quick put it over here into chat that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna say that's what i want to do that's what i want to play some magic today with my friends and magic lemzy is up next i'm gonna go and accept this i'm gonna you know i'll switch it up i'm gonna do the green i like my green I like my green. I hope this is not a blue deck. I don't like playing blue control decks. They're they're slow and boring. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, that sucks. I don't have a one drop. Oh, man. That fucks. That fucking. That's not great. Either, but, uh, this is not a, a great draw. less than perfect. This is less than ideal. Uh, I should have had a 1-drop, 2-drop, 3-drop, and I did not get those on my first mulligan. Uh, I probably should have gone with that first hand. Um, this is going to suck really bad. This is going to go very poorly for me, and it's not going to be fun. Or it might be fun to watch me die really quickly, but um, there's no point in casting this yet. I'm just going to put this down and maybe do a big Hydra, but she's got murders probably coming out. Um... point in switching that out because she just sacrificed that. She already got what she needed out of Glow War Shaman. Shaman. Some kind of weird graveyard deck here. Yeah, I get it. I get it. This really is not ideal at all. Uh, I get one, two, three, four, five, six. I can make a... Let's see. I can make an eight, eight Hydra with Reach. Let's try that, I guess. Uh, but I'm assuming this is going to be killed right away. Yeah, sure. I guess I know. Oh, it doesn't have a reach. It has trample. I'm assuming she's going to put death touch on this or something. Yeah, there we go. 
completely unexpected. Probably should have wait, waited for the Great Hinge to come down and try it from there, but... The good thing about magic is you kind of know pretty early on um, that whether you're going to do anything or not, and uh, sometimes you don't do anything, and sometimes it's fine. I mean, I really do enjoy playing... Like I've said this before. I enjoy playing this game just for the sheer um, enjoyability of it, I suppose I should say. Assuming there's a murderous writer on his hand somewhere, but I, I might as well Nicobolos, go ahead and do and this. I will survive this is, you. Let's see. Maybe I can put down the great engine next turn. My my, how you've grown. Tough link, Castle Baron Bridge. Put this one down, I suppose. Uh, Death Tough Life Link. Not really much point in doing anything right now. I'm just gonna tap for the. For the health of it. Actually, I should probably definitely do that. Because she otherwise will attack. <laughs> Stomping time. I could use the negative three ability. That has death touch too. That sucks. This all sucks. This all really sucks. Death touch is really tough for this uh, deck to overcome. Um, uh, it's one of the reasons it's really frustrating to play against. Um... Which is one of the reasons the deck... Oh, god damn it. That's not fun at all. What even do I have? You've made no, don't do that. Enemy. Shit. Nope. I didn't mean that one. I didn't mean that one. Oh, fuck. Okay, well... Reach Trample. Protection from Multicolored will protect from the... More arrow that's... Locked. That's actually not bad. Okay. Well, let's see now. Let's go and do a big-ass fucking stone coil. One, two... One. I got... Five, six. Wait, I can do that too as well. Let's go and tap it out. How many is that? That's eleven. So I need to do. I'm gonna do a ten. And a questing beast, huh? That's interesting. I don't think it's gonna work out very well, but. Uh... We'll figure it out together. So I don't think these creatures can affect the Stone Cold Serpent, but this one can still kill it with Death Touch. So we're kind of... I wouldn't say we're in a... Um, well, if she, if the Mire Triton attacks, I would just let that through, but... Okay, well, this is interesting. Let's see now. I'm going to put this down here. Earth Chamber Guardian. I'm just going to keep casting spells. How about that? I might put... Um, I might put a little... Yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to go and get this one. I have a lot of mana at least, so I'm going to put this one down. You know what? I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit. Oh, wait. I should save mana for Question Beast because I want that. Um, you get up here, and I draw a spell. I'm going to resolve that. I'm going to take action, get another Growth Chamber Guardian out, and I'm going to go ahead and say, boy, this is a this is a big turn for me here. This is probably really dumb. I'm going to attack in a Death Touch, but I can get these guys to trample at least. Um, I, I'm doing really the, the worst thing you could possibly do. And uh, casting spells before the combat begins, but I'm kind of, of reckless. I'm be. kind of dumb. I like doing it. I'm gonna go and attack with these two. They have trample at least, so might get some damage through. We'll see. This is all probably really dumb. Yeah, more death touch. That's good. Hey, did some damage though. And I got a bunch of creatures out to protect me. And I, the Great Hinge, let's not forget, the Great Hinge is a great card. I'm getting a lot of life. Um, I still have Vivian R. I have another Vivian down here. Um, Acolyte of Affliction. Permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Fire Trail. Okay. Well, 
lot of death touch coming down, but you know, I think if I get some bigger creatures out here, let's see what's going on. I have a lot of mana. And I'm gonna start drawing a lot of cards here with the Great Henge. And maybe I'm gonna get a Yorvo out here. That's not bad. Is there any benefit to me from casting all these cards before I attack? Uh, probably not. I'm gonna go ahead and do these people here, because I don't really care about the Wildwood Trackers. This will be fun to watch. Oh, I can't use that one shit. Ah, that sucks. Oh, well, I'm gonna attack with all these guys. They're kind of chumps anyway, so. Kind of have to trade. Um, and I'm gonna have a lot more stuff coming down after this, so. Watch this be a board wipe coming through. I bet there is one. Uh, we'll see in a bit. But I'm gonna go and put down Yorbo. Pelt Collector, sure. And I get a little of Struck Beast. I should not be casting all these spells because I guarantee you there's some kind of board wipe coming in. But, hey, if this works, We'll see. Oh boy, that's a lot of fucking... That's a big-ass creature. I don't know if that's all you have. I don't see how you're going to survive this turn. Um, because your bar is going to get really big here. And I'm still gaining life here. Yeah, good game. If you want to concede, feel free. Otherwise, I'm going to keep on just... Putting everything in play here. I did not think I had this in hand. How did this guy get up to 11-3? Wow, that's a lot. This is a big-ass army. I want to put this on... I don't think it really matters. No, not Love Strike Beast. He can't attack. This will be fun to watch. I believe it will be. I don't really sound cocky. Sorry, buddy. Good game. That's the paddling. Let's do a couple more here. Uh, it's 5.55. Uh, the broadcast day supposedly ends around 6 or so. But let's play a best, best... I got a pack. Let me open a pack real quick. Storm Herald. When Storm Herald enters the battlefield, returning a number of aura, car aura cards. Nope. Don't. Don't. Don't care. Why well, a lot of them here. I don't think I played Foolish Whisper before. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one as the last one of the day. Uh, I'm going to play my mono white deck because I like it a bunch. Um, but I will be back. I'm usually online. I'm online a bunch. So feel free to uh, please add me as a friend and challenge me anytime you like. Okay, let's see what I got here. I got Giant Killer. Uh, I really like having Linden in my open hand. I'm going to keep this against all possible... Maybe did I just do... Did I pick the same person I had before? I don't know. Open with Giant Killer. Hopefully I have something with a 2-drop and a draw, but I don't know that I will. We'll see what happens. Probably just going to be more planes, but I really like having Linden down early. That was not great. Attack. But Giant Killer is a fun card to have down. Just in general. Okay. Linden comes down. And I'll trade my Giant Killer. 
think she'll... If you trade that, that's going to be interesting. I don't think they will, so might as well go one free damage in. Incubation Druid. There's going to be a Nissa coming out probably next turn, I assume. This is a lot of this is a lot of mana here. Um, let's see what we got here now. I'm going to go ahead and put down this little baby. The problem now is, uh, well, all right. So we can go ahead and attack with both these people. This is a different kind of mono green. This is a mono green ramp. This is getting up really big. I'm assuming there's going to be some hydras coming down. Um, I don't really know. I haven't, I haven't seen them. Nissa is usually the kind of the win condition in this deck, but this is a lot of mana uh, available. There's at least six mana on the board right now. What is my favorite board music in the game? I don't really have any special favorites. I don't. I don't even know if I can change boards. Um, I thought it was all randomized. Okay, finale of devastation. Search your library in a graveyard for a converted creature card with converted mana cost X or less, and put it on the battlefield. Oh no! Exile target permanent. All other... Okay, wow. That's a bold one. I can't cast any more of Johnny's. I didn't really see that one coming. One, three, one, two, one. Okay. Uh, I'll probably, you know what? Ah, oh, fuck! I should use a giant killer to tap something. Um, I don't think it really matters that much. Let me go ahead and pack them all. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's see this. Do I have any brawl decks? I don't. I haven't made a brawl deck. Uh, it's only available on Wednesdays, unless, unless you pay a shitload of money for it or gold for it. Um, I have enjoyed the little bit of brawl that I've played before, but having it only available one day a week is really dumb. Um, and I don't want to pay all the gold for having access to it. It's. It feels like a very. Ran it's a little more randomized than regular Magic because you only have one of each card. It's. It's really fun, but it's. It's not something that I have spent a lot of energy on. Uh, okay, hybrid crisis. That's gonna be big. That's gonna be a big and feeling one of those are coming out. That's interesting. He's he's not even mana screwed because of the blue. He has the paradise druid to do one mana of any color. Fun. Okay, that's gonna be interesting to try to punch through. I'm not sure I'll be able to do it, but we'll see. Huh. Apparently you can play okay, this this is not good. Um well actually. Is that gonna do it? I think that might do it. Three, one, seven. He blocks this. I think that's. I think that's pretty much it. Unless there's something weird coming down here. I mean, no trample, but I don't. So unless there's something in the hand. I think the math is there. Good game, Foolish Whisper. Uh, maybe I'll try to do some Brawl decks and do some Friends and Foes stuff. I didn't realize you could do that anytime. Uh, I'll, I'll work on that. I haven't really looked into a lot of Brawl stuff, but let me go into my decks real quick and try to make see what I got here. Let's take a look at my possible Brawl um, commanders that I got here. This is really annoying that it has a scroll down friendly Brawl. There we go. Who's my commander? What do I got here? You really want multicolored people? I need to look into... I have not really looked into a lot of uh, brawl stuff. I think it'd be fun to do like a vampire brawl or something like that, but I've, uh, I'm way behind on all this stuff. Um, I'll take a look into brawl. I'll make a friendly brawl deck. Maybe we'll do a brawl stream at some point. That'll be a little bit longer. Um, I like Clothis. That's That'd be a fun one. That'd be a fun one to do. Um... 
I'm going to call it a day for today, I think. i got to get ready for dinner and let these dogs out because they are being a little babyish about it. Um, but thank you all for joining us. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I know, I believe. I, I'm not going to say for sure. I, let me actually take a look at the uh, schedule upcoming. Nothing on the upcoming. I, I know the bomb castle will be going on tomorrow. I'll say that for sure. How about that? Uh, there might be something a little bit before the bombcast. I'm not 100% on that, so I'm not going to guarantee it. But at the very least, there will be a bombcast tomorrow. Live, hopefully. Um, and then after that, I think we'll be streaming some as well afterwards. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to keep going. We're not We're not even um, going to stop. We're going we're gonna to ride this train right into the ground. Uh, so thank you all for joining us today. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow in the am stay safe stay sane uh don't hug anybody see you tomorrow